I've been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back to another skateboard video and today we're going to do something pretty interesting. We're going to make this skateboard be able to switch from four wheel drive to two wheel drive. So that's pretty exciting because when we're cruising we can just put it to two wheel drive. But if we want that extra power, we'll hit the four wheel drive switch and we'll get off road capability and quicker acceleration. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to disable the front wheel drive here from the back. So hopefully this will work. I'm not sure exactly. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the battery still connected between the two. But just disconnect the controller from this drive here. So what we got to do is we got to take this cover off and see if we have any room for this switch. Alright, let's pop this cover off. And there we go guys. Well it looks like we've been getting some sand in here from all the holes around. So looking at this enclosure it looks like we have plenty of room here on the edge where we can put this switch. We do have a wire right here that's long enough that we can go through here and be on this side so that should be good. But before we do anything I'd like to power this thing on I guess. Make sure everything works and then power it off and cut this wire here because essentially that's what we're going to do with the switch is we're going to cut power to the controller. So we're still connected to our batteries here to this battery set and this battery is going to be connected together. So we're still going to have a good amount of battery power. Now the bad part about this is that obviously we're going to lose half the brakes too. We're going to lose acceleration but we're also going to lose power and we're going to have a little bit more drag than the normal wheel because uh, there's still magnets in there, but it's pretty free spinning overall, so it shouldn't be too bad All right, I got some needle nosers here to have cutters and we'll go ahead and cut that right there So now we got two wires in half So technically now we should have no power to this controller. So let's see what happens. Let's power it back on board is on so let me And there you go One wheel drive or should I say two wheel drive? So now we became from four wheel drive to two wheel drive, just simply disconnecting the power to the controller here. You can see this switch is pretty heavy duty, and uh, I wanted to get it for higher amperage. I think this one's rated for like 25 amps. This would be good enough for the current flow, and plus it has this weather seal button or little cover here for the switch so the water doesn't go inside of it. So theoretically, now if we put one wire here and one wire here we should get a switch so when we're gonna when we're gonna power it on we're gonna have four wheel drive power it off we're gonna have two wheel drive all right so i got the board on and i got this wires here going through the two leads here through the switch and uh, we're gonna see if it's gonna work so right now it's just rear wheel drive two wheel drive so i turned it on let's see if we'll get any kind of power uh, look at that guys and this is on the fly by the way now I turned it off whoops well I guess that would be the same thing and now I have two wheel drive alright guys so the hole is in and I had to wallow it out because I didn't have a drill bit that big so it's a little bit crooked but that's no problem as long as this thing still fits and it does just fine and then we'll put washers on that side and we should have a switch but before I do that I'm going to solder the cables here so that's one side there, and now the other side. That should be perfect, guys. So now all we gotta do is somehow, kind of got a short thing to play with here. Flip this around and then put this switch through here. And uh, I'm gonna make it where when I'm down, I'm on, and or should I say when I'm up, which is this way, I'm on, and then when I'm this way, I'm off. All right, so the switch is on and pretty tight. So I will have to put this little rubber part on, but I wanna go ahead and tighten this first. All right, so enclosure is tight. Now let's put on this rubber piece here that goes here. All right, and that's on and nice and tight. So now we got a nice sealed button that goes up and down. So up, technically when you flip this board up, this will be up. And up should be four wheel drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the board here. And there we go, we got four wheel drive. So we switch it down, and now we have two-wheel drive. 
Switch it up. We have four wheel drive. Pretty cool. So this is a success. Excellent. So now we need to go right around and see what we think about this two wheel versus four wheel drive. All right guys, so we're here at the proving grounds where we normally ride this thing. So I guess let's start off with two wheel drive and see what the difference is because I've been driving it four wheel drive for a while now. So I'm kind of curious. Well, it's definitely not as crazy. Definitely seems more tame, for sure. Cause I'm flooring it right now and it's a pretty soft start. But it's not too bad though. It's actually, I forgot how easy it is to ride this thing in two wheel drive. Having it in four wheel drive really got me scared of flooring it. Like right now I'm flooring it and it's not really it's not really killing it, it's just kind of going, but it's not going crazy. Alright guys, so the idea here is we're going to the hill where I climbed before. Alright guys, so here's the ultimate test. This is that crazy hill that I was not able to go up in. So I'm in two wheel drive, let's see if I can do it. Oh man, there's water here. Yeah, it's not going up. I did a little better this time though than I did before but yeah I couldn't make it it's it's just way slowing down way too fast it was about to stop so and plus I got my wheels wet it's just burning out two wheel drive so yeah yeah four wheel drive I was able to make this no issues whatsoever so I don't know if you guys remember I went over here last time on when I had the four wheel drive test we're gonna see if I can make it up this hill this with two wheel drive No, there's no way. Yeah, there's just no way. It's slowing down. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing it. Well, maybe it is. It's climbing slowly. Yeah, it's crawling. So yeah, it's just not the same. All right, now we should have some good brakes. Oh yeah, there we go. Dang, crazy brakes actually. Trying, trying to throw me off. So good. Oh man, this thing's like a beast now. <laughs> oh man. It's a whole different animal. Look at it go. Now, this is a hill too, guys. I mean, it's flying up the hill. It's not even like just driving. It's flying. This is a very mean hill here. Like ultra mean. No issues whatsoever. All right, guys. So you can see how high we are. You can see the ocean all over there. So that's some good altitude we climbed. Man, awesome brakes. Love the four-wheel drive brakes. So I can totally see where I would want four-wheel drive and where I would want two-wheel drive. If I'm cruising around town, just around the parks and stuff. I definitely want to leave it in two-wheel drive but if I'm doing like more spirited riding and just climbing hills and maybe some off-roading then four-wheel drive is the way to roll so fast riding or anything crazy four-wheel drive for sure excellent brakes excellent acceleration just cruising around slowly two-wheel drive all right guys so what's the moral of the story the moral of the story is that this is really awesome the reason why is I can go four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive and get the different kind of riding that I want for whatever I'm doing so I definitely enjoy the two-wheel drive for the smoothness and for the you know not throwing me off and I love the four-wheel drive for when I might get more crazy so now it's perfect for every situation before it was a little slow and then it was too fast and now I can choose all right guys so I'm very pleased with the results if you are building a four-wheel drive skateboard, this is definitely an option for you. I would highly recommend it. It's not hard, but makes so much sense. 
Anyways guys, so I think that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. I got another thing coming up for this thing that's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work out, but it's another modification for the drive system for the power delivery. So, so stay tuned for that video. I should have it within two weeks. All right guys, so if you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more skateboard videos and I do reviews on this channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. I have a bunch of them on the skateboard, how I built it from the start and where it's got to now. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.